I'm Audra. I came to SIU as a freshman a year and a half ago. Whether you're from a small town like me or a big city, whether you're a first generation college student or a third generation Saluki, you're going to feel right at home here. Everybody at SIUC is very friendly and is willing to go out of their way to make you feel welcome. One of the ways to prepare for classes here at SIU is through our SOAR program. SOAR is a great program because in one day you get to finish everything you need to get done um, to be prepared to come to school in the fall. You set up your schedule, you can get a parking um, lot in the parking lottery, you can set up your email address, meet with your advisor, meet with financial aid, and that way when you come down here all you have to worry about is unpacking and getting to class. Yeah, I came down for the SOAR day, which is kind of an orientation for incoming freshmen. And while you're down here, you talk to an advisor, and she can kind of uh, pre-advise you on the classes that she'd recommend you taking. I went to SOAR in early June, entering my freshman year. And it was very beneficial. It helped me out a lot. I got to meet a lot of older students and leaders on campus, and they gave me a lot of advice. I, I really got to learn that this is going to be a diverse area. I saw, I saw that very quickly when I came down here, and that was a good thing. One of the great things about SAUC that makes it such an awesome school is the caring faculty. I say you really need to get to know your teachers. That's the most important thing. You need to know from day one, when I first get in the class, that I'm going to make a difference, and I'm not going to sit in the back. I'm going to make sure my teacher sees my face. I think all the professors are very easy to reach, and they really do care about the students. They always welcome you to visit them at their office, ask them questions, just always willing to go the extra mile to help the students. I can go to my professor's office hours, I can email them, and some professors like, even leave their phone numbers. So, I mean, it's really easy to contact them. Not every class is small. You'll probably have a few large lecture classes, but don't worry. You can still make it personal and get the help and attention you need. It's all about what I guess you, the student, what you make it because in a class of two or three hundred, you might not get that exact one-on-one -on -one attention if you just attend class every day, but if you actually make time outside of class to get that one-on-one -on -one attention, that makes a difference. One important building on campus is Woody Hall. Besides the Admissions Reception Center, the building also houses the Financial Aid Office, where scholarships, grants, and loans are processed, and the Bursar's Office, where you can access your student financial account. Our student center is one of the largest in the nation that does not have a hotel attached. It's pretty much the cultural hub of campus, with tons of activities always going on, like bowling and billiards, movies, and guest speakers. A craft shop downstairs gives students the opportunity to take classes in glass, woodworking, beads and pottery, just to name a few. You can study, you can grab you something to eat, listen to music, get on the computer, so in between classes you're not bored or you, you don't feel like you have to go home. Maybe if you have an hour or two break, you can walk through the student center, sit down, have lunch with some friends, so student center is a good thing. And then there's the bowling and billiards there too, that's always a fun time to go there with a group of friends and it's really cheap compared to most bowling alleys, so it's economical too. <laughs> One place you'll want to familiarize yourself with right away is the Student Recreation Center. I am definitely a rec center junkie. Um, I love going and playing racquetball. The rec center is great if you like to go work out, but also they have classes that you can take. They're a lot of fun and get your heart pumping. They've got salsa classes, they've got kickboxing classes, they even have underwater hockey. I like to swim. The pool is great, much better than my pool back home. I, I like the water temperature. It's never that crowded because it's such a large pool. I like to go to the rec. I play basketball at the rec. I take aerobics classes. I, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. I love it. They have very nice equipment at the rec center here. Just basically everything you'd expect in a really good gym, they have it here. From the racquetball courts to the weight room, and there's several basketball courts. And there's also a nice track, so it allows you maybe to get a good workout in and do different things when you go to the rec. A recent addition to the rec center building is the Student Health Center. It's more than just a place to see the doctor. It also has a pharmacy, a wellness center, dental and vision services, and physical therapy.
All single freshmen under 21 years of age are required to live in the residence halls. Our university has four major housing areas. University Hall, University Park, Brush Towers, and Thompson Point. I live in Thompson Point and I think it's a wonderful place. It's almost like your own little community. It's it's quiet, it's beautiful. It, it, the scenery is wonderful and you're right there and you can see the ducks. The ducks are great, I love them. And also, you're right next to the dock. It's just right around the corner and so you can rent paddle boats. My first year at SIU, I stayed in Schneider, which actually I had a lot of fun with. I loved it. I only had about 76 kids in my graduating class, so I wanted to surround myself with as many people as possible. Schneider was a great place to do that. We might have pizza, soda, and we would just sit down and really get to know the, the residents who lived on our halls, which was also helpful and made us feel more comfortable. One thing everybody wants to know about is the food in the residence halls. I was afraid I'd miss my mom's home cooking, but it's the exact opposite. I mean, the food here is really good. Every day you have a lot of variety. I can always find something to eat if maybe the main course they're having that day isn't my favorite. They always have chicken breast, they always have hamburgers, they always have spaghetti, they always have a really nice salad bar. Some nights they have pizza, which is excellent, and then other nights they have uh, euros, which is even better. Yeah, euros, I have to, I have to admit, are, you know, are the best meal we have here. Those are, always, those are always really good. And then country fried steak, catfish, like they've got a huge variety. My favorite food to eat, this sounds kind of weird, is sautéed zucchini. There's no way you can get stuck with food that you don't like. Ask anyone who's lived in the residence halls about Chef Bill, and they'll always smile. I love Chef Bill. I look forward to his omelets every month. He usually comes twice a month to the different dining halls. Oh, Chef Bill's omelets in the mornings are great. He's a fun guy to be around. He always has a story to tell you, and of course his omelets are amazing. <laughs> RSOs, or Registered Student Organizations, are a great way to get involved here on campus. And here at SIU, we have over 450 to choose from. The great thing about this university is there are organizations for just about any major, any interest. I like volleyball, so I decided I wanted to do that. But at the same time, there was the Criminal Justice Association, which is my major, so I decided, why don't I join both? Try to get involved in a bunch of RSOs. There's a lot of opportunities for that. Yeah, I would say if you have interest in something, uh, be involved with it because you'll enjoy your time. I'm also involved with the International Student um, Council, and I was actually able to host their um, International Culture Fest this year and last year, and it was phenomenal. It was awesome. I got to meet people from around the world, and they're my friends today. Your education is more than just books and classrooms. You need to get involved. It's your life, and you need to take advantage of all the opportunities that college has to offer. Everyone here at SAUC is committed to helping you achieve your personal best, but it's really up to you. Take advantage of it. <laughs>